Um, God, we had a lot of changes, uh, but we're good. I don't know why my lights are not working, but everything is good. Oh, so today we're so blessed to have Ginny and Herb and Charlotte um, joining us. And uh, we have to send blessings to Jim, of course, and Judy couldn't come on because she had um, a, a, a dear friend uh, have an emergency, so she went to support them. Bobby and Kathy um, are not feeling well, so I'm, I, I didn't hear from them, and they were hesitant to join, so um, that's probably why they're not joining. So we just do what we do. So welcome, everybody. Welcome so much to this wonderful show, and oh, gosh, it's it, it really has been a... Um, uh, uh, um, a humbling, I think that's the word, like the proper word, humbling two years after this, uh, in this pandemic, and it still is going on. Um, but what are you, what are you guys doing? Charlotte, what are you doing for, for your Christmas? Well, you know, I really hadn't thought about it. I, I've been shopping slightly at times for my great grandchildren. Um, a comment was made by one of them said, uh, oh, she had the awfulest birthday party one year. Everybody gave her books. Well, guess what? <laughs> I've been buying some books for her for Christmas. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see her reaction. <laughs> but yes, I'm, uh, you know, I, I live a day at a time and what God brings, uh, I, rally in, in his gifts and his uh, good health that I've uh, been blessed with. I was just telling my family this morning that um, after the open heart surgery, I was able to get everything back, all my skills, and, um, and that's not as normal as I would hope for everyone. Uh, but we struggle, right, with what we have and Pray. Yeah, we enjoy. have to really. Yeah, I I agree. We have to enjoy the moments and really relish the moment we're in, whether no matter what's happening, because we're just blessed to be able to experience it. Because I always say this to everybody when they when they when they say the funny the funny comment about um oh God you know I'm 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 old you know like I'm you know 80, 90 years old and and I say, but you're blessed to have gone there. You're that blessed to have, you know, I mean, I, I move slower. I think, I think what I, I, I specifically do is I'm aware of taking care of myself when getting out of bed or walking down the steps because 
not that I'm, 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 f I'm fragile, but you, in, in a split second, you could tear something or, or break something or so I'm, I'm like, I try to be conscious of not to, to really move carefully through life, not to hurry through life. So yeah. that, that's, that's my thought. Jenny? first trip down the stairs from the bedroom to the kitchen in the morning is like come on knees wake up come on knees wake yeah up. yeah yeah because it's like peaceful you know so it's it's good so what what are you guys doing herb and jenny um don't know yet uh we have friends that we saw for thanksgiving that we haven't seen we haven't seen for almost two years because of everything and we've over the past few years spent thanksgiving and christmas with them and uh, it was wonderful to see them. It was just um, you know, my friend and her husband and my girlfriend's mother who her, she's 80 on Thanksgiving and is just amazing. She's a brilliant woman. Um, Sidestep on that, her parents um, were, uh, well, in the Salvation Army, her father was a general and her mom was a major and they, she, mom worked with um, women's shelters in the city. Uh, oh, wow. Amazing story. She's, uh, an unsung hero, really. I mean, she's a brilliant woman in the psychology that she brought to the shelter. Um, you know, when she, this was, and this was in New York City. They had worked with um, uh, uh, inmates, uh, but they asked, Salvation Army asked Georgetta to work with this woman's shelter. And she said the first thing she went in, did, is she put curtains on the windows and she put tablecloths and little centerpieces. And it just started to change the feeling in the room. Oh, wow. So, and I'm kind of sidestepping from your original question. But, no, that's okay. You know, you know, these, this is, uh, you know, this is what, what her, my friend's mom and dad brought to her. And she's a, you know, very loving and very giving. They all are. So hopefully we'll get to see them for Christmas too. Um, and her kids will be there if they were with her. Daughter is now graduated from college and teaching and she was at her boyfriend's parents house and her son I think was with his dad uh, they divorced um so hopefully we'll get to see all of them for Christmas and, uh, oh that's good that's good yeah we usually have um I um for a tradition in our family is my father used to do Christmas Eve so I have inherited that that uh that title to do Christmas Eve and my daughter Brittany's been doing Thanksgiving and um, then on Christmas Day, they go with their father. And um, I used to go sing on Christmas Day because it was, to me, it was a, you know, the opportunity to give back, you know, but since the nursing homes aren't really open to doing too much performing because of the pandemic, um, you know, but I, I pray, I, I reached out to them and I said, you know, I miss you guys, I wanna sing. You know, it was such a joy to, to, to bring joy to those families. It's, that is so humbling to walk into a nursing home or an assistant living um, and to have everybody come for a, a, a dinner or a luncheon, you know, a holiday luncheon. And honestly, they, we, Bobby and I used to do rocking songs. Like we used to get them up out of their chairs and like, dancing in their beds and, 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 and I used to, and I used to laugh because I used to think like, you thought you were coming for a Christmas show. Like, yeah, you got that, but you're getting like, and they used to love it. Cause, cause if you think about it, when you go there, it's, 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 it's sad. It's, it's hard for you. So we wanted to take the moments and change that concept for everybody to be able to you know, feel uplifted when they left, you know, not, not be so, not be so hard on them. So we, we used to, Bobby, Bobby and I used to have a blast. We used to have a blast. <laughs> we found, I had, it was our experience when I had the dance company, um, that around the holidays, we would call one of the facilities that we would go to, and they said, no, they said, you know, we really don't need you right now, because everybody comes out of the woodwork at Christmas time. And she said, it's the rest of the year when we need you. So we would be busy all year long and really not have a whole lot going on. At, at yeah. Christmas. But yeah, again, it's, it's, you go into a facility and it's like all kind of, you know, you bring in a bunch of bright belly dancers and, and the mood. And the room yeah. Room. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's exciting. Like it's different. You know, did you, did you 
do you did it take you a little time to get them engaged into what you were doing because i think sometimes they're so depressed and they're so um you know there's nothing going on they're just they're just sitting there for a while that it takes you a while to kind of get them like here i am you know it depends it kind of depends on the facility um uh, the, rec the some of the hospitals like like uh, Mount Sinai and NYU Russ Institute that were rehabilitation, you know, and we would work with the recreational therapy people. So when they came into the room, uh, they were coming for entertainment. But yeah, sometimes you know it was like a surprise. Um, there was one, you know, you never know how you're going to touch people. Um, there was one place we went. I think it was in New Year's Eve. I'm not sure. It was in assisted living. And after the show, uh, and the woman, the woman that booked us was not the woman that was there when we got there, and she was kind of like, "Oh yeah, okay." You know. um, but we had, we had, we always did a great show. It was very varied. We had a lot of different, different uh, styles of dance. And after it was over, this woman who was very kind of skeptical came over to me and she said, "You have to go and speak with this woman." She said, "She's been here for quite a while, and no matter what we bring in, she's never happy. Nothing ever satisfies." Oh. And she's so excited right now. So wow. I went up to her, and this woman got her hand on my wrist. She was beautifully made up. She was very, very well put together, but in a wheelchair. And she said, my dear, she said, I had thought that I had been everywhere and seen everything. She said, but th this is the first time I have seen anything like this. And I want to thank you so much for this new experience. Wow. Wow. wow that's incredible. I probably traveled all over the world and she had a very full life and was like eh, okay now what yeah so, yeah yeah I told some stories of some of the other people that we've touched along the way but um we always left them feeling much better you know yeah that's our goal right that's our goal is to uplift them a little bit to bring some joy to them you know I came to the recreational therapy you know we always when we started out we said okay we're going to make people smile and they'll feel better but we did find out after we had been doing it for a little while, how much we were really touching people and how the brain reacts to music therapy and dance therapy. Yeah, yeah. There's neural pathways and there's things that go on that we had no idea. And then, yeah. okay, so this is a much more powerful tool that we had that we didn't know about. Yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah. And that's when, when I came into New York Senior America, Really, my hook was because they were doing showcases at assisted living and the veterans hospitals and so on. So even though at that point we weren't all young chickies, we were still out there looking great and being very energetic and very positive about it. So it, it's still, you know, and we're now the shutdown kind of put everything aside, but now we're going to try to start contacting these places again. Yeah, yeah. I pray to get back to it because it's therapeutic for me. It, it kind of like brings me back to... You know, I think to myself, and I believe we all can, you know, put ourselves in that place that it could have been me. I could have been after my stroke living in one of those places, you know, and that's, that's the, that's the moments that always, that's why it's so important for me to keep singing for them, you know, because it's, 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 it's keeps me, you know, in tune with what's important in life. You know, so I'm going to sing Feliz Navidad so we can kick the show off, you know, the, the holiday show, holiday show. And then we'll have Charlotte sing, um, Charlotte sing, um, say a po poem. Char I'm, I'm saying Charlotte. That's your name, right? That's Cause, correct. Because sometimes You're I correct. say the, sometimes I call people the wrong name <laughs> and I, I actually forget what, because the other day I was calling Jim, Jim Salvini. And at the end of the show, he's like. He's like, um, I like that name, Renee. I think I'm going to change my name. Now. So you got to forgive me if if I if I did that. But I just wanted to ask you to confirm you because that, that's a, that's a stroke thing. I I see your name and I'm like, you know, but <laughs> so so thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's sing a little bit. And this show is really um, a fun, easy holiday show that. We just love to bring the joy to people of just just coming together, just coming together. So we hope that everybody really just has a blessed holiday, whether it's Hanukkah or 
or Christmas or whatever, whatever faith you are, just really bring people together. So that, that's our goal. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año Felicidad. Let's go. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero un año y felicidad. Hi, Florence. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom. Let's go. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero un año es felicidad. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero un año es felicidad. Let's go. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Let's go. Let's well, me. I wanna wish you a happy Hanukkah. I wanna wish you a happy Hanukkah. I wanna wish you a happy Hanukkah from the bottom of my heart. Let's go. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad, prospero un año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero un año y felicidad. Here we go. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad, cha 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 cha. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero un año y felicidad. Woo! All right. <laughs> Thank you, Florence. Funny, right? That was wonderful. Thank you. Right. Hi, Florence. Charlotte. Hi. I just, it's so cute. What's <laughs> that? that? Glasses on Charlotte looks like Mrs. Santa Claus. Yes, she does. <laughs> she does. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, oh, I just thought I'd be kick it off with a lot of fun music. Yeah. And now we're going to have Charlotte uh, read a poem, a Christmas poem. A Christmas poem, Charlotte, you can introduce it. Okay. Yes. And we yes. say hello to Florence before we start. Say it again. Can we say hello to Florence? I, I, hi, Florence. I said hello, but hello. Did you hear me say hello? Yes, hi. Oh. Hi, are you going to be singing Oh Holy Night today? Well, I was, but I haven't got the right music, so I thought I'd do some other carols. Okay, so I'll sing Oh Holy Night, and you can join me? Of course. Okay. Okay, okay. perfect. Sound. But I have, I have, I have, I have, I have Silent Night, I have Angels We Have Heard on High, I've got the first Noel, I have all those. Okay, great. What did you uh, say to me? Yeah, no, um, you have to be careful with two people because sometimes it doesn't sync up because yeah, of like we did in the opening. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, so I have that's those. Okay. You know, it sounds like I should go get my Santa hat. Go get your Santa hat. Go get your uh, Santa yeah. hat. Uh, well, wait, well, while Charlotte reads her poem, and like we said, this is a fun show. There's no organization to the show. I really just want to 
bring everybody, we just want to really bring everybody together to, to really celebrate the year we had. Um, and even through the challenging times, we're still here, we're still pushing, we're still going, we're still accomplishing our mission. We fight to keep it above water, you know, and um, we have a lot to celebrate, a lot to celebrate. Yeah, yeah. your friend Art says to say hi. Oh, um, he should have joined us today. Well, he, he has um, the impossible dream ready for you. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Yeah. I got it. We got to have him on the show. Remind, yeah. remind Judy to book him. Did she book him for the new year? No, no, not yet. Okay. So remind Judy, do me a favor. Remind yeah. Judy. Okay. <coughs> what I'm going to do today, I'm going to play for myself. Is that okay? What's that? I'll accompany myself. You're going to accompany all right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Just let right. Charlotte read her, her poem and then you can <coughs> get your Santa hat. Yep, and we'll I will get that. that. Okay. okay. And then Ginny and Herb, I don't know which one of you want to sing next, but you could sing. <coughs> okay. I'm, Go I'm ahead, cool. Charlotte. This is an original poem of Christmas Joy. It's mine, actually. Joy reflected in a smile of someone who loves you is priceless. Oh. As we age, the smallest love-sharing moments in our lives with our chosen spouse becomes unforgettable. A touch, a loving glance, a hug, and a squeeze of the hand can speak love volumes to us. True love is saving the life of a loved one with an awareness of stroke symptoms and quick actions if needed. When we are young, making choices about our future is so important to find lasting love. What are my expectations? Ignoring perfections. Who to date? Where to meet a person who shares my interests, humor, and future goals? Speaking from 63 years of a happy marriage, if you make realistic choices, you may be blessed to enjoy your love journey together until you are reuni reunited at Christmas time in our eternal home. Merry okay. Christmas, everybody. That's beautiful, Charlotte. That's breathtaking. That's Thank beautiful. You. That's beautiful. I'll clip that. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, Florence looks beautiful. I don't even have a hat. I have red behind me. I have the angels behind me. <laughs> So who, um, Ginny or Herb, who wants to sing? Go first? Yeah, why don't you go ahead? Okay. All right. Let me get my guitar. Herb, Herb's, um, with, with apologies to Gene Autry, uh, Herb is going to do his, his rendition of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's going to get himself his stuff set up. I'm going to back away a little bit so we can put him center. Not only that, I want to hit her with the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> No battery here. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to go first. We have to uh, a little closer to uh, like we said, we're winging it today. That's our thing. Winging it is recommended and approved. That's on, my, that's on all my shows. Winging it is recommended and approved. You guys can hear the guitar all right? Yes, thank you. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer, and Vixen, Comet, and Cupid, and Donner, and Blitzen. But can you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it was All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer games Then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Rudolph with your nose so bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? 
Then how will you feel of him? Good off the way, nose ringing. You'll go down in history. song that's such a fun song you know when, when mm -hmm. you think about it poor little rudolph was actually bullied <laughs> you know this is yes. like politically incorrect somewhere along the way that yep. he was a bullying victim um all right i'm going to pull together i the other day they were uh the top three christmas songs this year um, and number two and number three. Number two was Jingle Bell Rock. And number three was Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. And the first one, which I totally expected to be White Christmas, was the Mariah Carey Christmas song. So they, being crossed, they kind of got bumped out. But yeah. this is a, just a little bit of a mashup with uh, Rockin' Around the Jingle Bell Rock and Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Swing. And jingle bells ring, snowing and blowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle rock has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring, snowing and blowing up in the square in the frosty air. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Cup mistletoe hum where you can see if the couples won't stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit go. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some candy. What a bright time, it's the bright time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Give me up, jingle horse, pick up your feet, jingle look around the clock. Mix and a mingle and a jingle and beat. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell. <laughs> that's a great song those are great songs i love those so i'm gonna sing white christmas and florence you're gonna sing a song for us i have three carols <clears throat> okay which one do you want to do first i you you can choose silent night first nowhere or angels we have heard on high um let's do uh angels we have heard on high because i really love that and i just heard it on the radio so okay. that would be awesome let me just sing white i'm going to sing white christmas that was actually the song that i pulled up and you just mentioned it jenny what number is this on the, the do you know what number this is whoops just muted myself no i have no idea i don't know there we go Where the tree tops 
is crystal clear oh thank you thank you. When, you when you're singing from a place of love i i believe you lose the sound of the voice and you just connect to the music you know and and i'll, ne I'll never forget um when 9 11 happened <coughs> father gino who is this incredible priest um he was young. He, we, you know, it was what twenty years ago, right? So we were we were twenty years younger. Um, he was, I think, he might have been in his in the beginning stages of his um, his his priesthood, and he was he was a priest in a hospital, um, a church hospital at St. Joseph's Hospital in Patterson, and um, and this this girl got up to sing "God Bless America" or or some one one of those songs, and. She didn't have the best voice, but the way that he he encouraged her to sing and he looked at her with such love and supported her through singing because she wanted to sing it because she felt like she needed to do something. I'm, I'm assuming that she needed to be a part of the healing process to, to make have her voice heard and I'm telling you, the way that he just sat in front of her and just loved her through her singing, you lost the you lost the 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 feeling that she wasn't a professional singer, but she was. So the moment was just so precious. I mean, it's 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 actually engraved in my in my mind. So yeah. So thank you, Charlotte. It's it's, it's a blessing to to for you. Okay, Florence, and then we're going to go back to Charlotte, and she's going to uh, read another one of her poems for us. Okay. 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 Angels, we have found a sweet singing on the Joyous 
that's a great song. Yeah. There's so many wonderful Christmas songs out there. You know, the you funny thing it. is there's not, there's not a lot of Hanukkah songs. There's some, yeah, but not too many. But there's not as many as Christmas. I wonder why. That's a good question, right? We need Ooh. to get busy and start writing some. Yeah, we should get, you so know, I got to tell you, my grandson, Blakey, he makes me crack up. He goes, he goes, he came, I picked him up from school and I guess he was learning about Hanukkah in school. So it says, Mimi, we have to make latkes. And I said, I said, I said, oh, we, did you learn about Hanukkah in school? Yes. We need potatoes. We need oil <laughs> and we need, um, flour. We need flour. So we need, we need all those things to make latkes. So now, wait, I got to tell you. So we go shopping the other day and he goes, there's all the Hanukkah stuff. We need a menorah in our house. I said, yes, we do need a menorah. So now when he comes over this coming Thursday, he's going to be sleeping over um, because Brittany's bringing Brooklyn, my granddaughter, to Boston University Hospital to, to be checked. She's been having seizures. Um, so we said, we're going to have a, laka, a, laka sleep, a, a Hanukkah sleepover party. And we're going to make latkes. Oh, great. So it's great. I love the fact that they yeah. teach the kids. And the truth is, he doesn't know any separation. He just right. knows. And that's a wonderful thing to raise children like that. We're all one. You should teach them everything. Correct. You know? So I, I love that. I love that. So I, I'm, working, I'm working at a school where there's every nationality under the sun. Wow. And nobody, nobody's worrying about anything. Yeah. Just you know, great. That's, that's yeah. the blessing. I, you know, I like, I, I like the Christmas season, but it really is the holiday season because between Christmas, Thanksgiving and New Year's, people are all in a different state of mind. You know, they, they just want to enjoy the moments, you know, and the same thing with Passover and Easter, right? I love the fact that they kind of run similar in the um in the date process i mean sometimes they're later and earlier but at least they're in the same time zone you know like spring for that and winter for this you know so it's it is a blessing it's, it is a blessing go ahead charlotte we'd love to hear hear your story now okay i was going to tell you how important macy's day thanksgiving parade uh means to me uh as an artist i love watching the creativeness flow by the television. And this year, I painted <gasps> this. Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. So I was watching as the parade moved along and painted. And uh, it just gave me such joy. And I know that the Christmas season is starting, certainly with it. and. The poem I wanted to read uh, comes from the Salesian Missions and it's titled, Preparing for Christmas. My list was growing long last night of all the things I had to do. I knew I'd have to hurry or I never would get through. I had to finish decorating the tree and the lights had not been hung. I still had the nativity to set up and the baking wasn't done. I pulled out the nativity box. I thought it wouldn't take too long. I'd quickly set it up, then be moving right along. But when I unwrapped Mary and Joseph and set them in their place, I found I wasn't in such a hurry and I began to slow my pace. When I placed Jesus in his crib, I had a change of mind of all those things I had to do could wait for another time. If I really wanted to prepare for Christmas, I knew that was the place for me, kneeling there beside his crib, remembering what Christmas is meant to be. That's by Catherine, Kathleen Lyons. Wow. That's I, love it. I love the Salesian sisters. I um my it's funny you should mention the Salesian sisters because 
Um, there was a Salesian sister named Sister Grace, who um, she used to work at Mary Help of Christians, which is a Salesian order in, in North Halden. And, um, and she was such a blessing to me when I, I was the food service director up at the school. And every morning she would make a pot of coffee before I got there. And every morning we'd stand and pray together. And um, so I adopted her, um, but she passed last year. And I really miss Sister Grace. I really miss, she had such humor. She had such positive energy. Um, I know she's still with me. I know she's there here now because you mentioned the Salesian sisters, um, but she was, a, she was a great force. And they're such incredible um, sisters, the, the Salesian sisters. They're, they, they, they're, they're a, I, I'm going to say this incorrect, but they do, they're poverty. Um, they, they don't do things for money. They don't, you know, they, they need money to survive, but I forget what the terminology is called. They live, you know, off of, um, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. But they're incredible order. So thank you for sharing that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Florence, you're going to sing one, uh, two more songs, but I'm going to sing one and then we'll have you sing two and then we'll start the, the, um, the downward slide to closing the show. Yeah. I also have George the World as another oh. one. Okay. So you can choose. Perfect. Yeah. Let's do a little Let It Snow. It's snowing up northern Michigan, where I'm at. The outside is frappled, but the fire is so delightful. And since you know the place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I bought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate to go out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me so. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let's go. doesn't snow here where I am. Where, do you, where are you? Uh, can you say where you are, Charlotte? Yes, I'm in South Carolina. Florence? I'm Florence. in South, huh? You're in South Carolina? Yes. Hey, the look, kids it, never, it never snows there? I saw three flurries when I came the first <laughs> year. <laughs> I, they, they melted when they landed on the ground and every, the whole town closed. Uh -huh. there, was, there was no sign of snow except for those three flakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. The kids are there. The kids are. So yeah, they, they, 
it's, it's, I think it's snowing in Hawaii right now. So never say never. Yeah, I, you know what? I heard that it was snowing in Hawaii, but my daughter Samantha said she just came from Hawaii and I was in Hawaii over 30 years ago. She said that there's this high mountains that, you know, you know that it's probably snowing on the mountains. It's not snowing in Waikiki, right? I don't know. <laughs> Up in the mount, up in the the bulk, what's up left of that volcano? Yeah. yeah. Oh my I'll God. Do some snow. We've got it right now. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous though. Are we are we expecting snow, for, uh, Jenny? For the um, I get the flush on Wednesday, but I don't see they don't see any snow yet in in our forecast. I'm going to be in the snow at Christmas because my daughter lives in Michigan, and that's where we're uh -huh. going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Be prepared. <laughs> I am. I am. You want to deck the halls? You want to deck yeah. the halls? Let's do deck the halls. Let's do joy to the world. Let's do joy to the world. I love that joy song. Joy to the world. Let me find that. Um, I like that. Here it is. Let's do one more. First Noel. Yes, oh. beautiful. Okay. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, you did that already, right? What's that? We wish you a Merry Christmas this year. But... Do both of them because they're short. Okay. I can. Here it is. <clears throat> The first moment, the did sing, for to serve the poor shepherds in fields where they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night. Beautiful. Charlotte, I saw you uh, lifting your brother's book. You know what? I got to buy two of those for my kid, for my grandchildren. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about that before Florence sings We Wish You a Merry Christmas? Yeah. Yes, it was written by Brad Werner and Marty Tucker. 
And uh, the illustrator is Martha Grill, but the illustrator and the writing is so fantastic. It's talking about Santa not feeling well to deliver the gifts at Christmas time, but uh, Mrs. Santa comes through with getting him well. So, so it's, it's just a wonderful gift for young people. And they can get it at any of the Amazon stores and so on. You can order it. Oh, cute. Um, that's but it, all right. it, yeah, it's an original <laughs> book. It just came out this last Christmas. And I'm so proud of them that they've come up with a um, just a joyous story about our, our normal happenings at Christmas time. But Santa pulls it out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, beautiful. That's a beautiful cover too. It's it it's capturing. It captures yeah. your attention. It's yeah. actually beautiful. Exactly. I like how his face is pink from the flu. You know, he has a fever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you, Charlotte. That's a beautiful book. We hope that everybody goes out and purchases it because it is beautiful. Has, has he gone, did he get many sales last year? He should have. I think so. So yeah, yeah people are that. realizing that, you know, along with the standards that sometimes a little fresh look at the frailties of humans and uh, Santa's not uh, alone from uh, trying to get over an illness, right? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Maybe, maybe we should, oh, I'll suggest that to him. Maybe a Santa stroke symptoms book. That'd be incredible. That's, that's, not, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's not yeah. a bad idea. My brother wanted me to illustrate this book, but because of caregiving Tom and, and my, um, my illness, my own open heart surgery, I did, wasn't strong enough. Right. And I've gotten better and back. And so, yeah, I'm going to suggest that to him and I'll yeah. illustrate it. That's awesome. Yeah. You would love it. Uh, look, oh, is that <laughs> darling? <laughs> that was yesterday. Oh, wow. that's I have some, some senior citizens who have a choir. So we went to perform and Santa was there. Wow, oh, that's cute. And I gotta show you my yesterday work. Oh my God, that's oh my. Crazy. This is what I'm looking out at, only it's snowing, <laughs> but it wasn't yesterday. That's beautiful. So you have water behind your house? Yes, it's called uh, Blue Water. It's a crystal lake. Oh in uh, Michigan. And this is out the view of my daughter's home. Wow, that's breathtaking. Is that watercolor? Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the I love the grass. Thank that you. It had such a special touch, you know. Do you know what? I painted most of it with a stick. The grass Are you kidding? the grass is done with a stick. What? The paint. Unbelievable. I'll move it up that, so you can see. Wow. Beautiful. Charlotte, so um, if somebody wanted to purchase one of your um, artwork, where could they find you? How well, could they get you? My email is char and then ambrose, A M B R O S E, at aol.com. Yeah, that would be Thank awesome. You. And do you, do you have a number of, I mean, I know you just paint as your inspired i do um, but do you have a showcase of them um no not really i kind of kind of collect uh they collect <laughs> let's put it that way and but you really should have somebody take photos and upload they have them. yeah a coffee table book oh uh, right that's true that's a good idea that's another what's a coffee table book it's, it's right collection of uh, a book that you can get at, at Walgreens, really. Oh, um, oh, oh. With, no, but you can have it published with just paintings by you and a hardcover book that you put on your 
coffee table so people who come to visit you can oh. open it and look. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, honestly, I mean, people want to share in your gift. So it'd be a blessing for you to, you know, share your artwork with everybody. You know, Absolutely. I, yeah. I mean, I, it's like, I love to sing because it's healing to me. It's, it's, more, it, it's, it does more for me than anybody else, but you know, God wants me to share it with everybody. You know, I used to, I used to just sing in my basement and I used to sing in, um, in, and um, we used to take care of bingo for my kids a long time ago when they were in St. Anthony's school, I used to do bingo. And I used to have the whole auditorium and I used to sing my heart out with just a cleaning person. <laughs> that was there. I never, there was no audience there, you know, um, but I had to get out and, and share my gift with everybody. So you, you should think about it. Think about it. I mean, I know you share it with everybody, but it'd be a blessing to gift it, you know, sell it to people. Cause it I would don't be know awesome. if you could see this or not. Let's see if I could, this is a musical one that I. Yes. Beautiful. Um, beautiful that's One beautiful time, i watched and listened to an indian dance oh by, my gosh that's beautiful uh, as it was happening and it was by the nez pierce nation in wyoming and they did ask for this print uh pa painting that you wanted to buy it and i said you know what i'll give it to you so and it was so exciting to see these uh, wonderful people and watch and listen to their, their uh, traditions. Wow. So I plan to do a painting of them now that I have a little closer view of their outfits. I mean, at the time I was doing this one, I could not stop to think about their own colors. Because I know right. color, color and design is so important to the Indian nation, but mm. because of the movement, I couldn't uh, stop to do that. You know, that was like a half hour work of art. <laughs> so it's, it's beautiful. It's precious. You. It's precious. So um, if Florence could sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas, then I'm going to go around the table just to the, the to share your final thoughts. And then I'm going to sing Oh Holy Night. And of course, we um, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas because that's the song that that touches me and we're just going to roll out after we'll blow kisses after I sing that and um, and we want to wish everybody um, you know a blessed holiday season so um, Florence could you start us off by singing we wish you a merry we, we wish you a merry Christmas right everybody sing oh we can't do it because it's a lag right yes okay we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, that's beautiful, Florence. It's precious. Beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. So I'm gonna let Ginny and um and Herb start with their their wishes to everybody. Um, and then I'll go around the table to Charlotte and to Florence. So what would you like to wish to everybody? What would you like to wish to everybody? Else? I wish everybody a safe and healthy holiday and um, all your wishes come true. Well, uh, Ginny? Uh, yeah, no, that's a, that's a big agree. Um, I just, you know, hopefully everyone, you know, we've got got more issues going on out there with, with the health issues of the Omicron. And I just would like everyone to be careful, try to stay as safe as you can and, and you know, come through uh, and have a, a, hopefully the next year, we said this last year, but hopefully 2022 will bring us out of this and we can get back to 
being able to hug each other and, and being, you know, closer together again. Yes, we totally agree. We totally agree. Charlotte? I want to send out my love and my joy and the Christmas season uh, cheer to everyone on earth, but also in heaven. I think uh, they're rejoicing up there as well with us. And uh, Merry Christmas, Tom. Aww. He hears you, he hears you. Lawrence? I have so many that it would take a long time, but I'd like to, I'd like to just wish everybody magnificent health and stay close to the close to the, the source of the, the beauty and the love that we really have everywhere. Um, get in touch and stay as close as you can to to the, the source of our blessings and be thankful and move forward doing the best we can for a fellow man and hopefully everybody will benefit and turn around and walk on an upwards path. So I, I am hoping that I'm wishing everybody happiness and health and serenity. Oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. I'm the most blessed person in the world to have all of you in my life and everybody who follows us and everybody who just prays for us. And of course we pray for everybody. Um, you know, our intention is just to spread the love and just be love and, and just have a little kindness in each other, just find a little kindness in each other. Um, not to, not to judge people, just accept them for who they are, just love them through it, which is a book I'm trying to write. Um, because you never know what that other person is feeling or what they're going through. Um, you know, we are all sitting here um, and you're thinking, oh God, they're having a wonderful, um, you know, an easy go of it because they're, they're, they're um, doing a show. Um, but this week was really a struggle for me, you know, and, um, and for me to be able to just put it aside um, and, and just come to the table, it really is an important piece to, to, for people to understand that um, you have to just not judge people so quickly. You need to just accept them for who they are, just love them through it, and just um, just be happy in the moment with your family and the loved ones around you, and pray for everybody. That's really a big thing. We have so many people. Um, I can even tell you, I'm on prayer prayer groups that I'm always getting text, um, and, and you know, I can just think of a, a you know a number of people that really need your prayers right now. So if you can kindly um, say a prayer for, you know, for, for a number of people um, within our foundation and our language of love family, we would really appreciate it. Um, and of course we are praying for you as well. So I'm um, gonna sing and then we're gonna um, sing, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas because that's the one that touches me is both of these songs and Florence as much as I love you I am so happy you didn't sing Oh Holy Night because those two songs are really songs that come from my heart and my soul when I sing it so um, I didn't want to take it away from you I told Judy oh okay she can sing it but when you told me you weren't going to sing it I'm like yeah <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I couldn't find the right accompaniment. No, well, God took care of it. That it was it. Good. <laughs> but I, I don't like playing the piano um, publicly. Oh God, you did yeah. it well. You did it beautifully. I, I don't. I like to just sing and have somebody else play. But you know, I figured it's Christmas carols, and I would just do it. You know. Yeah, it was perfect. But I get. To, I. I. I, <laughs> I have. Arthritis in my thumbs, oh. so sometimes they freeze. Sometimes they freeze up on me. I might as well, might as well admit Charlotte, it, right? Do you need to go, Charlotte? No, I just wanted to thank the Lord for my four extra years on Earth. So this song is important. Oh, holy night! Yes, yes, yes. And and have yourself a merry little Christmas. And it just. 
both of them are so important, you know, it, they, they, Oh, Holy Night is a song that is holy to me, you know, um, mm -hmm. and have yourself a merry little Christmas is really, to me, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a neutral song for everybody. It speaks in the language of everybody. It's not really a religious song. And I really just think they're both really important songs. So Please Are you doing join. both verses of uh, Oh Holy Night and Have Yourself a Merry? Yes, yes. You're going to um, do both so. verses? I, I think so. Yes. Okay. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> Please join me in singing, you know, silently or.
this one's as important to me. Here we go. Christmas future is far away. Christmas past is past. Christmas presents are here to stay.
ti No me puedes oír No me vas a escuchar Escuchar